first one is how did you approach the leadership essay? Can you tell us um, how you approach the leadership essay? I wanted to start with Royce first, but since she's having a bit of network difficulty, I'll go with Cherubim, please. I think Royce will join us shortly. Um, and she will just do audio. I think she's outside at the moment, that's why. Okay. Okay. My video, uh, it's fine. Well, I can do the audio if the video. Yeah, the video will be great because like um, it's um, those watching on yeah, Facebook can also get to relate more and see the people talking rather than me staring. Yeah, the host needs to approve me to use my video. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think she'll do that shortly. Uh, okay. Yeah. I have it now. Yeah. And that's okay, so I should, not to catch you in. If all the all, if all the panelists could leave their video on, that would be great. Just the panelists, please. Not any other person. Okay, over to you, Cherubi. How you answered the leadership question, um, taking your life um, as a trajectory to that question. Okay, so um, in the same spirit of using an example, for me, I started uh, from, say, my childhood, how I was really interested in curious stuff. Uh, I call it wonder or imagination and fascination, but I think my dad wanted me to study science just to fulfill his wish of me being a medical doctor. And then I went and I went, I, I, then I ended up studying visual arts, but then I think I found fascination with technology. So I was very curious about how technology shapes the arts and creative stuff. So I was able to start from my, my really growing up, my first paragraph, we just spoke about growing up, and then after that, that was more like the intro. And then I started the main body with how I got to the university. And then I studied my environment. And then I, I found like, a passion to start a business or have a startup because I read a book that I felt before I, I complete university, I needed to do some seven things. One of which was to start a business or to manage someone's business. So then I think that was more like the first body. And then after the body, I went also to how I finished the university and I had to get a job and what I intended to do to get a job. In my, in my case, I did my national service. And after service, I decided to do a sort of a social work. I went about helping people, training people in digital marketing skills. And then after, after which I started, I co-founded Whole Note Hub. And the work we've done and some of the impact we've made and then after which I came back to the corporate world, joined. So it was more starting from the beginning. So the one key thing I want to put out here is that I think when it comes to your leadership, it's good to start somewhere. Your essence is a good beginning. You need to find a place where you start. You just, I, I don't think you can just start your essay by saying you were a leader say in the university. You know, you didn't just appear in life in the university. You might want to take it from the background. And I feel these little things make you stand out because that's then your story you own it you know i know we all have a lot of stories but uh, we all don't pay so much attention to our unique story uh, my unique story in this case was how my dad wanted me to be a doctor uh, and for that matter do science and for that matter do the course he wants to do but i felt otherwise so that's a, a, a story angle altogether but don't box yourself to just want to start with maybe from the university that's my in my personal opinion then I went ahead to, to speak about what I'm doing now and then what I intend to do to multiply what, all what I've done. So I ended my essay about saying how I, uh, this scholarship will help me multiply my influence even much further than I had done. So that's how I took the leadership from the beginning, the body. And then I concluded that I hope the, the scholarship would help me multiply my influence. And I stated maybe with some few figures here and there how like what I intend to do when I get back to Ghana, hopefully next year. Okay, okay, Cherubim. Selina. You're mute, Selina. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I, agree, I agree with Cherubim a lot. Um, and just to add a little to what he said, um, I've had a number of people who have been disturbed about their leadership essays because they're like, oh, I don't have so much of leadership experience. I wasn't a leader since a child and everything. In my personal um, life, I have always sh actually shied away from leadership when I was growing up. I'd rather be the one to be backing up people and not show my face. But 
the whole point is that at some point you want to make an impact because the whole point of leadership is to make an impact so in my experience i i was shying away from leadership but it got to a point where i started volunteering with certain organizations and then i realized i actually enjoyed um the impact i was able to make in other people's lives so i'm like okay why not start something of my own and you know also make my personal impact on other people's lives so it started from there so my leadership essay didn't have like so many like 10 or five of my leadership i was a leader in uni i was a leader here and there my leadership was actually focused on my foundation which i started just a year before i applied for chevlin so my main focus was on the impact that i had made and if i should ever tell you about my ngo you can see that it's something that means so much to me like it's literally my baby so even though I didn't have so much leadership experience as compared to other people, I was able to express how much I was passionate about what I was doing and how I really wanted to do more if I'm given the opportunity. So I was really based on my foundation. And then just before the conclusion, I just listed about two other leadership experiences, which were not like huge leadership experiences. Basically, um, I think a floor representative and then some others, even though they were minimal, they also, you know, kind of show that at some point I started seeing the whole point of being a leader and I put my head into it. So, yeah, you might not have all of the leadership experience from childhood, but as far as it gets to a point that you realize you want to make an impact and you realize the role of Shemlin in making that impact, you're good to go. Good. good. Joel? <laughs> um, I'd say that uh, for me, the, I'm really hard on coherence. So, the strategy that I used then was to start talking about what leadership means to me. Uh, for me, leadership is really about change, irrespective of how small it is. So I started with a quote. So what I did was I did a reverse engineering of what I had, right? I'm not advising anybody to start their essays with quotes. It's, it's, it's something it's funny, that should resonate. Yeah? It, there it's should be funny some because coherence. that's why I didn't want the fact that maybe we share slides. People would, they, they, they own a story, but because of what they've seen others do, they then change their story to fit into someone else's story and lose the coherence of their story. That's why I like us mm -hmm. to talk about it. Whilst we are talking about it, dig, dig deep into your brain and see what points you could put down in terms of how you've lived your life and what you can touch on as part of that. But yeah, it's yeah. a great, it's a great, it's a great deal. Yeah. So uh, basically what I did was that I did my reflection and after doing my reflection, like Irene said, I listed all the things that I, I thought was um, change worthy, right? And then I developed the stories for each of these um, points. So I had about three points. One was about my, my role in um, University of Ghana School of Pharmacy. I was association president. And the other was my role in the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana. And then the last one was my role at Procter & Gamble as a medical representative. So I listed all of these things down and then I looked at the common thing that was in there for me. And I realized that was really about problem solving, um, change, I mean, causing positive change basically. So all that I had to do was to go to Google and then type change, um, problem solving, quotes. And that was it. I had a lot of quotes popping up and then I reviewed the quotes that resonated most with the points that I had said. So it's not, I didn't start from the quotes and then develop the essays. I actually started from the content and then found the quotes that resonated very well with those, I mean, with those examples. And then that is how I got my introduction. And then I spoke about my experiences, highlighting the, um, the problems that I faced because I was talking about problem solving and causing change. I highlighted the problems and then the implications of the problems. So if this problem ex existed, what would it have resulted in? And then I went ahead to talk about the methods and the approaches that I used to solve those problems. And then the results. So the results had a lot of measurement in there, uh, whether there was a percentage increase in something or a reduction in something and all of that. I made it objective. I didn't leave any room for doubt because if I had used words like many, few, small, little, or many, then it would, it would have, I would have left that to um, the discretion of whoever is reading to put any figure to it. So I attached hard figures to all the things that I did. And that was what helped me in developing a very good essay. Okay. Okay, Joel. Um, Melissa. Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, I think I...
Oops. Did a bit of what Joel did, and I think I also did something that Royza. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. we can hear you now. Yeah. Yes, I said I did a bit of what Joel did, and I also agree with Selena. Um, so this is what I did. I looked through my life journey from childhood to school, my workplace, extracurricular activities. So growing up, I, I had a lot of family members in, who were into catering, who did home economics, you know, um, how do I call it? Professions which were considered to be more feminine. So I was supposed to follow suit, <laughs> but I wanted to change the status quo. I wanted a challenge. So I was like, no, I'm going to do science. I'm going to do a course that is more masculine. Let me say it that way. So that really mm. helped me to get in love with. And one thing I also did was, you know, they talk about leadership being a role, a role, a role. People think, oh, who is a leader? A leader is someone who is the CEO of this. No, for me, I think a leader is someone, I see leadership as an act more than a position. So this is what I did. I Googled leadership qualities. Then I got something like integrity, someone who is courageous, someone who is a mentor, someone who has empathy. So looking at those qualities helped me to carve my story. That's what I actually did. So for anyone there who, who is finding it so difficult to start the story, they can go that way. So oh, when have you when have you empathized with someone? When have you mentored someone? When have you influenced something? When have you been courageous? All those things would help you carve the story. So I started from like the lowest, when I say the lowest, so from my childhood to school to work and everything. And that's how I carved my story. And I looked at the similar content, as Joel said, something that ran through everything. And I used to create my leadership essay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Melissa. Thank you. Eugene. Hello. Hi, Waisa. Is Raisa here? <laughs> I could my hear my video. But yeah, Eugene. Yeah, Eugene is here. My video. Okay. Yeah. So I, I see some other people who are among the Zoom are trying to activate their video. So uh, my host is trying as much as possible to um, uh, put up the videos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So um, I also went a different way. So basically, we all have different approaches. And uh, I, I was more centered around my work because I, I have done a lot of things in community service and then hospital. So I started my essay by saying, I have worked in so many um, um, leadership positions, including providing strong leadership for um, my department, that's the emergency units of my hospital. And then that's all I said about the hospital. I built on that by saying my abilities do this and this and they bring people together, able to. Then I went on to say with this experiences and all that uh, made me like, you forgot to say this in my introduction, but I co-founded a health organization also four or five years ago. And that is where most of my leadership um, points came from. I would say my leadership essay was mostly uh, like the justice done to that came from numbers, um, my articulation of the various points and uh, how I presented them. So I went on to say, coming back. So also I forgot to add, I took a scholarship earlier on like between 2012 to 2015 and I was out of the country and then came back. I made sure I presented how coming back to the system and then things were not the way you wanted it and then jobs were not available and I had to take on, I had to take the initiative to, you know, bring some change in the field I am in. That is how come I started my uh, organization, which was nonprofit and I make sure I listed all this in the essay. And then I went on to talk specifically about where and when I did projects, how many people I affected, who was involved. That is one side. 
And also I focused on the volunteers that work in my organization. How many people have I influenced? Like, how did I bring people together to actually do something influential in community? So I built my essay around just this. So it was mostly about my organization, my work life, and how I got experience from another culture and I wanted to implement that in my culture and that's how yeah. I pushed through. So it's mostly about numbers and articulation of stuff for me. Okay, okay, Joel. Um, you did thank you. Um, Irene? Unlike um, other applicants who used, started from their childhood and all that, I came from a different approach, which is quite similar to that of Eugene's. And so this is what demonstrates that every individual writer is unique and has a unique style. So I'll encourage your listeners that what we are saying here are our views. They are unique to our personalities. And this is also a form of leadership. So every writer has a unique way of starting, but the Chevening application system is so robust. They have a way of coming out with the best essay. Unlike me, I didn't start from my childhood experiences. I went straight from my place of work and the leadership roles I have played there and the impact I have made. I have been a public health nutritionist for all these years. So I went straight into how I tackled anemia in pregnancy. For the quarter in which we were, I spoke about the number of pregnant women I had followed individually and how their HB improved before delivery and how that prevented them from being a potential maternal mortality case. And then I came down to speak about trainings I have facilitated, okay? The number of nurses I have been able to train and how they have gone into other communities and the potential number of people or lives they are changing because they benefited from the trainings I facilitated. And then in the third paragraph, I spoke about my leadership role in the social group, which I joined. And in less than six months, they identified my leadership potential and gave me a leadership role. And immediately they gave me that role. I was able to organize an event and get influential people to come and address their needs. Mm -hmm. So I had two paragraphs addressing serious issues I have dealt with. Talking about anemia in pregnancy, which of course is something very serious, and then training of nurses. And then I came to my social group, which is outside the Ghana Health Service. It means that I have a social life outside the Ghana Health Service. And I have leadership roles also in that social group, which is way outside what I am even trained to do. And then I concluded, by saying that when Shevening gives me the opportunity to even further enhance my leadership potentials, then I am going to be able to make impact. So this is how I organize my leadership essay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much.